What's up everybody, Frank Valkyria, welcome to the channel. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic today. So, let's get into the news of the day. Yesterday you remember that we covered Johnny Depp being part of this cameo on the Video Music Award on MTV. Uh, majority of people happy about it, well, you know, very supportive. Some mainstream media, meh, not so much because at the end of the day they don't have much to talk about so they have to be very much clickbaity to enrage people in order to get a click so but anyway we got also some other people here which they're salty and it's not only the uh fartlow uh sorry Bar barlow woman i just read somebody re writing fartlow so referring to that person as such uh we will get to that in a moment so i just stuck into my head but anyway, we got somebody else here. We got none other than Whitney H., which is the sister of Amber H., which was one of the alleged leecher, uh, alleged leecher of the penthouse. Somebody that has profited from the generosity of Johnny Depp for years. And now talking trash after the video music award. Honestly, I think that this wasn't written by her. Probably her account was just used by some other and her as a mouthpiece, probably. So here we have MTV, you're disgusting and clearly desperate. I really hope that none of the people that made this call have daughters. So I stand with Amber Third. Sorry, sorry, uh, Amber H. Now it's ingrained in my head. Can't help it. Amber A uh, Third. Just, I don't know, comes. The hashtag is working, I suppose. It's not my fault, okay? I didn't start the hashtag. It just goes around and around and around. It wants to be flushed all the time. So anyway, we got other people here salty. We got the Barlow woman uh, just uh, accusing MTV of, uh, of something. And listen to this. I wish MTV could see the state of my inbox this morning and the terror and heartbreak of women who live in fear for their own oh my god there is only one idiot here and it's probably the 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 person in charge of this account um it would be very nice to see that inbox actually but most likely there is no inbox there's probably one person there is no person maybe one and eh? we know who so and then there is more saltiness good people don't work with abuse People motivated by money and money alone work with it because they only know how to take advantage of an immoral system. Talking the, talk, talk to Warner Brothers that still hasn't fired the H. And a matter of fact, actually fired JD two days after uh, allegations. And also he was the most bankable character uh, actor in the world at the time. Eh? AH, nobody knew who the heck she was before. Nobody cares now. Nobody will care. And you know why? You're right. Good people don't work with abuse. And you know what? Nobody works with AH for that very reason. Because there's a lot of good people out there. And none of it, none of them want to work with a perpetrator. We know the truth. So, uh, it, it's just a long pause here. It's just insane to see this nonsense these people keep going on and on and on and on without stopping they're just delusional um, a lot of people profited from my name this summer by creating a ridiculous new cycle of smear campaign uh, because I did the honorable thing no you didn't do very honorable stuff you just lied you keep lying you keep posting delusional tweets uh, you misinform your audience by telling them lies, H was found guilty on three counts and people have made their choice. People have watched for six months who was the real abuser, who really came out to be the real abuser. And people are pissed off and they're just reacting to your nonsense. And if anything, you call that upon yourself because you keep misinforming your audience. You keep lying. You keep posting delusional tweets trying to change people's mind of something that by now is very clear. Johnny Depp wasn't the villain. He wasn't perfect, 
by any stretch of the imagination, sure, but he wasn't the villain. And here we have also the infamous professor here, Michele Degesgaubers. I don't know how to pronounce the, the surname, sorry. Surname? Uh, surname? Uh, hey, NASA, please fire Johnny Depp into the sun. He's dressed for it and everything. So, this is Michele Degesgaubers, bro. Uh, it's wishing Johnny Depp to extinguish himself. And also asking for NASA help in committing murder. Wow, professor. Wow, professor. I'm actually surprised that this person is still on Twitter, honestly. Just asinine people, which they are misandrist, man haters. They just don't give a damn about men. They just want to see people suffer for uh, affiliation of a friendship with somebody that it's been proven over and over again to be a liar to be a manipulator uh, and so many other things probably more things will come out and here you, here you go hashtags the hashtags are speaking for themselves actually I'm pretty surprised the Whitney one is going crazy here with almost 22,000 tweets but Whitney got, got blocked that's the other news we have to talk about after this tweet apparently she got suspended on Twitter for infringing on the terms and condition so I suppose that probably the professor could be next if she keeps uh, basically um, wishing Johnny that that death, which is not very nice, considering he was he's the survivor of that relationship. Oh man, what a what a bunch of nonsense! Eh? What a bunch of disgusting nonsense! I read that word, so that's why I said it. Uh, those people are leeches. Those people are liars. I'm actually finding I'm waiting for Jennifer Owl, which is supposed to be a certain point best friend of Whitney to come forward and respond to um, this tweet that now it's been blocked. So I really look forward to to hear from her, actually, because Whitney is the same person that told her friend that Amber will basically end up killing Johnny. Um, and probably was Jennifer Owl. I don't remember in which contest I read that, but I really look forward to um, to listen to that if she will come forward. And actually, I urge her to come forward because this madness has to stop. They're still trying to really negate something here. They're still trying to lie to their audience and misinform, and they just go about with the most insane uh, statements. You know, they just go about with the most insane, insane statements just because they have nothing. And when you have nothing, you just have to continue lying, hoping that the lies become the truth. But likely there are too many people out there which know the truth for allowing those people to win. And that's why I've said this uh, probably like 50 times in the last two months. That's why we keep making videos. We are not fools. We know the truth. And uh, if anything, the only people here that are to blame for what is happening to you, referring to this person and the other person and the other person here, this old group of friends, it's you. They're really calling this upon themselves by continuing this charade of lies and manipulation and this PR campaign of actually still targeting a survivor and targeting also other men and women because all they're doing, actually, they are taking away uh, from all those people coming forwards by continuing lying, you know, by pretending actually that they were the victim, uh, making it more hard for everybody else to be believed when it's really the truth. So if there is something truly disgusting about this, are those people, honestly, um, doing a disservice. Not only they have been found guilty uh, at least one person that was in court but they still pretend they still perjure themselves they still manipulate the PR they still try they still try every single day to lie to you and everybody else but we are no fools guys always spread love please consider subscribing in mass like boom 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 
I really appreciate your help. I'll see you later. Ciao.